Hi, I've done quite a few videos now on the Shure KSM32 condenser microphone and I'm a big fan of that microphone because it sounds great on a wide variety of sources and it can handle high sound pressure levels so you can use it on drum overheads and guitar amplifiers but it also has great low frequency response for bass guitar amplifiers and kick drum for instance. Uh, but it's just a great all-round microphone and it sounds great on acoustic instruments, especially things like uh, acoustic steel string guitar. I love it on that. And vocals, you know. So it's just a great microphone, really. So today I'm going to focus on using the Shure KSM32 on a guitar amplifier. And although I love it in this application, mainly on clean, jazzy type stuff, I really prefer the SM57 uh, for rock guitar. And to be honest, the SM57 isn't my favorite mic for rock guitar. My favorite would be the Sennheiser E609. And I've done a video comparing those two if you want to check that out. But the SM57 is pretty close to the E609 and because that's a standard microphone, I thought I'd use that one again in this video. So I was wondering if I could actually get the KSM32 to sound like an SM57 using an appropriate EQ curve in a plugin. And if I could do that, I could actually get rid of all my other mics and just use the KSM32 really, which is quite nice. So today we're going to find out if you can get the KSM32 to sound like an SM57 with an EQ curve. And if that's true, then you could probably get any mic to sound like any other mic with an EQ curve, possibly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sine wave sweep from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, that's the audio range, uh, of this amp going through both microphones. So that's going to capture the response of the amp, the speaker and the microphone. Let's load the recorded sine sweeps into Room EQ Wizard. I'll include a link to this awesome software in the description below. This is the KSM32 response curve and this is the SM57 response curve. And here's what the two graphs look like overlaid. As you can see, the SM57 has more presence above 1K. Remember, this response includes the amp and the speaker, but the amp and speaker response is the same in both graphs. So if we subtract one graph from the other, we're left with the EQ curve that will transform one mic into the other. And that's exactly what we need. Unfortunately, Room EQ Wizard won't do the subtraction for us but it does let you export the responses as CSV files for you to process any way you like. So I exported the responses and wrote a quick and dirty script to do the subtraction. Fortunately, my DAW comes with the Voxengo Curve EQ plugin, which lets you import a CSV file. Here's what the final EQ curve looks like loaded into Curve EQ. All right, so now let's listen to the sound of a KSM32 versus an SM57 and also a KSM32 with this EQ curve applied to it and see how close that sounds to an SM57.
So what did you think? Did you think the EQ did make the KSM32 sound like an SM57? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Check me out on Instagram at Rajaniamps. Check me out online at rajaniamps.com. And I hope to see you next time.